about 10 minutes of our practice today. And let's just um, take it from here. Good morning and welcome to you today. Can you hear it? To this short morning meditation. Okay. You can gently close your eyes and start to become aware that you are awake. You're stepping out of your dream time and out of your sleep space and getting ready to step into the world for the day. But before you do, allow yourself just to be here. How often do we jump into the day mentally before the day actually starts? We almost plug ourselves in, in a sense, to the mental space of society. Then we start to check the news, our social media, and all of a sudden our minds are running around with the rest of the world. So instead of jumping out into the world, just allow yourself to have your own world, your own space. Almost as if there is a bubble around you and there's nothing here but you. Take a few nice deep breaths into your belly, expanding it, filling it like a balloon. And then exhaling. As you begin to breathe, notice if there is anything pulling you into the future, into the rest of the day. And just come back, bring yourself back. And a great way to call ourselves back and to start the day is to be grounded. So instead of plugging into the mental space of society, we're going to actually plug ourselves into the earth. I'd like you to imagine a beautiful tree trunk just growing out of the base of your spine. Let that tree trunk extend down into the planet. Allow it to root into the earth. And allow yourself to be rooted and grounded this morning. If you start the day ungrounded, the day tends to go ungrounded. If you're grounded, the world will reflect that groundedness back to you. And with this tree trunk, you can actually let yourself release any stress or anxiety that may already be coming up around the day. Can you relax and let yourself release it? We all know it's difficult to be relaxed in the middle of the day. And we all just want to do nothing but relax at the end of the day. But can you make yourself relaxed at the beginning of the day when it's the easiest? When the sun rises and the rays of light hit the earth, you can see the trees, the flowers 
plants and the animals respond. They are awakening. They're coming into their morning. As you awaken, notice your sense of calmness and gratitude for life. Notice your breath and be grateful for the air that comes into your body. Notice the room that you're in, the space that you have, the fact that you're able to sleep quietly and comfortably far more than most human beings in history or any animals that have lived outdoors. There's so much to be grateful for. Notice you can be grateful for your family, for your friends, for your entire life. Whatever it is that you find you're grateful for, give it a moment. Enjoy that gratitude. And then you can ask yourself a question. Are you here on this planet, in this life, just to get through it? Or are you here to enjoy it, to be grateful, to celebrate? Sometimes we believe that gratitude is a luxury, but for a happy, healthy life and mental space, gratitude is a necessity. You can even have gratitude for yourself for sitting and doing this meditation You can have gratitude for being grateful. And know that life is with you. Life is not against you. You're supported. Set your intention for the day. What direction do you want to go? Do you want to learn and grow? Do you want to celebrate? Do you want to just enjoy yourself and have fun and feel pleasure? What do you want to bring into the world today? And what would you like to get out of it? Take a deep breath all the way down into your stomach. Really allow yourself to be calm and relaxed and step into the day with a sense of certainty. 
that you're here on purpose and for a purpose. That life will reflect back to you what it is you're looking for today. And you can bring a sense of joy and lightness, not only into your life, but into the lives of the people around you. Don't waste the day. Don't waste the opportunity to be alive, to contribute, to share, to express yourself. Every day on this planet is a miracle. Have gratitude, have intention, and have an amazing day. Slowly open your eyes. <sighs> Take some breaths. Ha ha ha. He said something in that meditation, which I think is is so good. Right at the beginning, he said, "If your mind wanders, you can draw it back." Because in meditation, at least in my fledgling practice, my mind does wander. But bringing it back, uh, a friend of mine who has a meditation practice said, that is meditation, bringing it back. So when it goes, you pull it back, and that is, in fact, what meditation is. It's drawing back. Ah, 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 grateful for the day. So let's set an intention for the movement we're going to do with lightness. So it doesn't have to be heavy. It should never hurt, but a lightness, even as we raise our arms overhead. Feel a lightness. Just spark up your fingers. Make sure you've got a comfortable seat on your chair that your feet are rooted into the ground like the trunk of the tree was rooting into the ground, that your knees are facing 12 o'clock. And sometimes when I draw my arms overhead, I actually rotate my pinkies in. And for me, that allows my triceps to get closer to my ears. And bring your hands down to your knees. Take three deep breaths in and out. Fill your belly. Visualize your breath coming in and leaving. This time, close your lips. We'll, we'll do ujjayi breath. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. that energetic breath in your throat once again. Let's start by waking up parts of our body. So let's wake up our neck, our, our very abused neck, carrying this big head on our, on our shoulders, connecting our head to our shoulders. Dip your left ear to your left shoulder. Now dip your right ear to your right shoulder. Draw your shoulders down the back of your, into your, down your back and draw your left shoulder. Just keep on doing this, drawing your shoulders down your back. Plugging your shoulders into their sockets, maybe even drawing your shoulder blades together. Now, take your right arm and grab your left ear and see if that can help you draw that, that ear down a little bit further and switch. We're trying to get that ear just slightly, not a big tug, just slightly closer to, and, and switch again. And switch. Now we're gonna kind of really rotate our, our chin down to our chest 
and tip it back and look at the ceiling, look up, up, really take it back and draw it down to our chest again. And look back. Now we're just gonna do, pull the whole thing together. We're gonna go to our left, go back, go to our right, go down, and just keep doing this. Going around the world with your head really stretching out your neck. One more time around, drawing your shoulder blades down. And reverse, go in the opposite direction. See if you can get a further extension. All the while breathing in and out. One more time around. Good job, good job. Now, come down to our shoulders. Shift your shoulders around, up and down, almost like we're doing the crawl, only we're not engaging our arms, and go the other direction. Really move your shoulders back and forth and around. Get some movement going. Now stick your arms out and make circles forward or backward, doesn't matter. Little circles, now forward or backwards, the opposite direction. Now do really big circles. Try to go up and around and back using your breath and opposite direction, good. Really stretch it out. Now bring your arms up overhead, spark them up, rotate your pinkies in, draw your abdominals in, and lower your hands to your knees and breathe. Draw your hands out in front of you, like you're saying stop to someone. And now we're gonna do our flashlights. Open and close your fingers 30 times as fast as you can. I'll count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, woo, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Woo! Shake your hands out. Wow, you can really feel that. Maybe swirl your hands around and maybe the other way. And then back around. We really, we really kind of ignore our wrists. I think we ask our wrists to, to do a lot. Stretch your arms out on your knees. Really pull your chest up like you're coming to an upward facing dog. Pull your chest through and stretch up. Now bring your hands so your fingers face each other on your knees and really kind of draw into that. Stretch out, up and down. Uh, I feel this kind of profoundly on the inside of my forearms. It's not, it's, not a, it's not a muscle we stretch very much. And flip your hands so that your wrists are now facing each other on your knees and do the same thing, kind of come up and back, up and back. You can circle around your wrists again. Good. So now let's, let's, so we've done our, our shoulders, we've done our neck a little bit, we've done our wrists and some of our arms. Now let's come to our hips. 
So in, like you've heard me say, and I'm sure you've heard, there's lots of muscles going on in your abdominal, in your abdominal area. That's why we could exercise it every day, probably continuously, because uh, there's so many muscles. But the tilt of our pelvis is something that we think a lot about in yoga. There's some poses where you want, you kind of want a Michael Jackson, kind of really bring your pelvis forward. And then there's others where it's a, kind of like a J-Lo where you're sticking your booty out. And many, many positions where your pelvis is absolutely neutral, which is find a neutral pelvis. So your pelvis floor is right on your chair. That's neutral. Now stick your booty out. And now pivot it so your pelvis, so your pelvis is swiveling. That's really about the only movement that your pelvis can do. We do cat cow to accentuate. We're actually, it's a, somewhat of a shoulder exercise, but it's really pivoting our pelvis and we're waking up our, our pelvic area and our hips. So cat is where you're bringing your chin down and you're arching your back and your pelvis is tilting forward. Breathe. And now cat, where you're, your chest is coming through and your booty is, is now tilted back. And let's do this 10 times, really accentuating this pivot and stretch. Cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Using ujjayi breath, keeping your lips closed. Five more. Really accentuating, really rolling your shoulders back in cow and rolling them forward and stretching them out in cat, drawing your chin down. Three more. and find a neutral, neutral spine. Even more, come to the edge of your seat and put your hands at the back of your chair. And this is in some ways even a further accentuation. Draw your shoulder blades together and look up and tilt your head back and come to neutral place. Do that a couple more times, really. Draw your chest through and look up and come to neutral. And again, draw your chest up and come to neutral. Good job. And just one more shoulder awakening. If you can put your right hand to the floor, can you both reach the floor with your palm? and draw your left arm. You want to keep your, you want to try to keep your hips firmly on your chair and draw your right arm up if you can, so that you're, as much as you can, if not, then just um, Chris, um, cactus your arm and then switch. Draw your left arm down and your right arm up, trying to keep both hips firmly on your, your chair and one side might feel very different than the other and switch. Again, it's almost like we're doing some kind of swimming motion and switch and swimming is actually a good way of thinking about it because you don't need to go too fast. You just are going through water and it feels good and you're stretching your body and it actually feels good. One more time on each side Good. Good, good, good. And bring your hands back to your, your knees. Good job. So we'll do some of our sun salutation. This is just a, a further way of waking up our body. It tends to bring a little heat into 
um, our, our day and will help us as we do some balance and stretching more later. So you bring your hands to your heart at heart. You can really pressure thumb knuckles into your, your chest if that helps. Come up to mountain pose, breathe. Exhale to forward fold, hands on the mat. Come up halfway. This is really getting your hands on your knees and extending your, your spine. Come out to almost like chair arms. So your arms are stretching in. Come back to cactus arms, drawing your shoulder blades together and forward fold down and breathe. And exhale. <sighs> On an inhale, come up to mountain pose. Stretch up. Rotate your pinkies in. Hands to heart in a prayer position. Forward fold down. On an inhale, come up to mountain. And hands to heart. So this is a chair Sun Salutation A. We'll start again in prayer. Mountain, really grounding your feet. Forward fold, hands on mat. Halfway up, hands on knee. Breathe in, come up to chair. Come back to cactus. Hands on mat. Mountain pose, come back up, rotate your pinkies in, bring your triceps right around your ears, hands to prayer, forward fold, really get the crown of your head facing down, come back up to mountain, and hands to heart. Now bring in this intention when you're going through this. When you go up to mountain, Think about your abdominals and like you're zipping your favorite pair of pants. Get that engagement when you helps you lift up, okay? So think about that as we go to mountain. Hands to heart, prayer, mountain, engage your abdominals. Rotate your pinkies in. With those abdominals, forward fold, hands on your mat. Come up to chair, again, you can consider your abdominals and come forward to chair pose. Back to cactus arms, drawing your shoulder blades together, down, hands on mat, forward fold. Using your abdominals, come up to mountain. Reach, reach, reach. Hands at prayer, forward fold. Up to mountain. Draw it up, look up, hands to prayer. Good job. We'll do one more sun A. Hands to prayer, maybe think about that intention that you set for the day, one of lightness. Mountain pose. Hands to mat, forward fold. Come up, halfway lift. Come forward to chair. Really stretch, come back to cactus arms, forward fold, hands to mat, mountain pose. Up, 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 reach, and hands to prayer, sorry, hands to prayer, forward fold, mountain pose, hands to prayer, good job. So let's do what we would normally do is then we would, we would come into a sun salutation B where we would, bye Linda, bye, um, where we would add um, warrior one. And you know what, um, Kathy, you can unmute yourself since it's just the two of us and you can talk, I'll talk you through this and we can have a conversation if, if that's good. Can, are you able to unmute yourself? Or maybe I have to unmute you. Let's see. Can I? Hold on. Maybe I can't unmute you. Okay. I think you're going to stay. Can you see? 
Is there a way to unmute? It's okay. Maybe they, I think maybe um, Aaron or, or uh, Sam just has it set. And I, I'm not sure I can. Okay. Change. I think okay. I've got it. So now we're going to add what you would do in a, in a sun, sun salutation. Have you done sun salutations? Yes. Yeah. So you know then when you go into sun salutation B, you add warrior one. So come on your chair, put your right knee facing your right wall and your knees right over your ankle. And then slide your back leg behind you. Here, I think I can set my, oh, so it's a little, maybe I can back up a little bit. So, um, so this is really just kind of a modified warrior one. Can you, can you get there? Yes. Okay. And bring your hands up to cactus. And we want to, you know, the thing with warrior one, you want to try to get your, your hip bones so they're facing the wall that you're pointing towards. In this case, I'm pointing towards my right hand side. So you want to try to get your hip bones and you want your pelvis to be neutral. So my pelvis is still on my chair. My leg, my back leg is strong. I'm up on my toes. Um, but you, you could, you could, I, that feels uncomfortable. I think on the toes is the best. And then bring your hands up to cactus and breathe. And on an inhale, bring your arms up into warrior one arms with your triceps around your ears and then open up to warrior two. And now you could probably swing your back foot around so it is at 90 degrees, if that's comfortable. And really stretch, 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 stretch. Good, bring your arms down. So let's switch over and do the left side. So now my left, our left leg is facing the wall. My pelvis is right on the chair. I'm on my toes. My, I'm looking at my knee. My knee was kind of, what, it, what happens in, in, in a lot of the standing poses is that your knee collapses in. So you wanna make sure you draw your knee so it's right over your ankle and that your toes um, in this case, the left leg are facing at 12 o'clock. And bring your arms up to cactus, and then up overhead, straight up like warrior one, and then open up to warrior two. And your arms are really pointing in opposite directions. And they're pretty much parallel with your shoulders. And then come back, bring your arms down. And let's do it. Again, let's switch to the right, the knee, the right knee is facing the right wall. Follow those cues, bring your arms up to cactus and breathe. And exhale, and now arms up, fully extended up and open up to warrior two. You can flip your back foot around to to 90 degrees on the floor, if that, if that helps. I can't get, I can barely get my, my whole foot flat on the floor. So I would do with your back foot, whatever is comfortable. And now one more time on the left, extend your right leg out behind you, left knee pointing the left wall. I'm getting my shoulders kind of lined up. I've got the advantage where I'm looking in a door that's, got glass, smoked glass in it, so I can see my reflection and I can see if my shoulders are, are lined up, but they're straight. That helps get your hip bones going in that direction. Come up to cactus arms first, and then on an inhale, raise your arms up, spark up your fingers. Now open up to warrior two and breathe. <sighs> And hands to your knees, come forward to a comfortable seat. So one of the things that the guy said on the, the meditation, which I, I really like, is a grounding. And many of the standing poses in yoga are 
I, I would put them in the grounding box, but the, uh, a big one is Trikonasana. And that's a standing pose, which I, we're not gonna do. But I also think of um, balance poses as being grounding poses, because you really wanna feel all four corners of your feet in, in, the, in, the, in the earth, on the mat, on the carpet, whatever it is. So stand up and get your chair in a way that will bring you stability and balance. And I think, I think Kathy, you've got, you're pretty good at balance, right? Are you pretty good? Okay, all right. So here's the thing. Um, we come into um, true north alignment. And true north alignment is where everything is stacked. Um, so our, you know, our hips are on top of our knees, our knees are on top of our ankles, and our shoulders are on top of our, our hips. So everything is bop, bop, bop. There is um, water in our knees. So our knees are not locked, they're unlocked. And just feel that. This, you know, sometimes they're the most subtle movements, but give like a little bend to your knees and just come up. That really, without locking your knees, when you lock your knees, you're stacking your bones. But this just, that little subtle movement, you are really using your leg muscles. And that is good. So that is good in balance. So there, your knees are always unlocked. Your toes are facing north, are facing, you know, 12 o'clock. Raise all of your toes up off the mat and really spread them out and now lay them down. And let's do that a few more times. Bring all your toes up, really flex them forward, and now gently put them back down in the mat. And again, raise them up. Now feel, if you can feel your big toe pad, your little toe pad, and both sides of your heel. And now put them down, put your toes down. So that, that sense of having your full foot in the earth. Another little cueing on true north alignment is one that I never completely understood. Draw your ankle bones up and back. Well, I, I just, that just doesn't make sense to me. It's like my ankle bone up and back. But think of it this way. Bring the arches of your feet. Try to raise your arches up off the mat. And that's really another of the feeling. And that should engage the inside of your shins. Again, another muscle group we don't often think much about. But this is all going into that true north alignment. Stacking, un unlocking, your feet are firmly in the ground, and um, your pelvis is neutral. So you're not, it's not forward and it's not back, it's all neutral. And these are the components that help you improve balance. So grab your chair and let's do a simple tree. So it might be your foot's at your shin, or maybe you're able to bring your, your foot up to your inside. It doesn't matter, whatever it is, your hands can be wherever you've got it so that you're really balancing and breathe and drishti. Find a gaze point. Unlock your standing foot. If you fall out, just come right back into it and breathe. and bring your foot to the mat. Good, you're, 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 you're super good at this. So the drishti helps our, helps our gaze and our breath is, is going slow and steady using ujjayi breath so we have the auditory sound of breath. And our, now our left foot is very grounded. Look down, your toes facing forward. Bring your hands at any position and your, your bent leg wherever it is most comfortable, just not on your knee, and breathe.
and for Tanat. Good job. Very good job. So, you know, there are so many of these balance poses. We like to do um, eagle. So if, if eagle is requires more balance than you've got, you can hold on, but see if you can, I guess I'm going to cross my, I'm going to come into a chair. So, so we're in a, uh, we're in a, a um, kind of a crouch, crouching position. My pelvis is maybe slightly tilted forward. I look down to see my toes. So my knees are far back enough that I can see my toes and put my toes up off the ground so I can really feel all four corners. I'm bringing my arches up. And now I'm going to cross my right leg over my left. If you need, grab your chair and see your, your foot may just go on the outside of your shin, but just like you're crossing your legs and then see if you can cross your right arm underneath your left. If you fall out, you simply just get back into it and breathe. Try to bring your elbows up to your shoulder blade height and breathe and come out and mountain pose. Now let's try that on your other side. So we come into that, that chair, really we're bending at the hips, we're looking down, yep, I can see my toes. Sometimes your knees come and cover your toes, but you wanna draw your knees back. All the while, you wanna sink your hips as much as possible, okay? And then cross your left leg over your right and cross your left arm under your right and bring your elbows up and really feel that stretch between your shoulder blades and drishti and breathe. And hand, feet to nap. Good job. Good going. So let's grab the back of your chair. We did this last time, but I think, I think it's a really, so some of these stretches are really good. So I want you to back your feet up as much as possible because I want you to get a real extension, a real stretch in your back, unlock your knees, hold on to your chair. You feel this in your shoulders. You're, you're really pulling the crown of your head. In this case, I'm drawing it towards the right wall. In your case, maybe you're doing the left wall but you're really, really, it's a big stretch. Shoulder, back, crown of head forward, knees unlocked. And now try to get it so that your sacrum, we've been calling it pelvis, but your sacrum is going towards the, the ceiling, kind of an extension there as well. And breathe. Good, come forward. Huh. Boy, my knees just cracked. <laughs> okay, let's do that one more time. So we're just gonna step back. I'm stepping back, I don't know, maybe a yard, maybe a little bit more, maybe a yard and a half and fully extend and breathe. Big extension <sighs> and come forward, good. Now, Place your right foot behind your chair. Oh, maybe it's a half a foot, maybe it's six inches, I don't know, something like that. And step your left foot back so that your foot is firmly on the ground and your right leg is bent. You should feel this in your shin. You should feel this a lot in your shin. If you don't feel it in your shin, try to back up further because this is a big shin extension. Step back, left foot forward, and now take your right foot back and try to get your heel on the mat and bend that left leg. Again, big shin stretch and breathe.
and bring that foot forward. And now back again with your left. One more, one more time on each side. Good. Breathe. Huh. And switch. Good. Now bring it so that your chair seat is facing you or you're facing it, however you get there. And I want you to put your hands on the seat of your chair. It could be your hands can be open with your uh, forefinger facing north. And we're going to do kind of some crunches. So my foot is about, I don't know, a foot back from from the seat of the chair, and I'm going to kick my left leg back, stamping the wall behind me. And I can look back and see that my hips are parallel with one another. And I can use my glutes to kind of raise and lower my thigh, right? Now bring that knee into your chest. Ha, huh. breathe out, inhale, extend. On an exhale, bring it into your chest, your knee, and exhale, extend. One more time, bring that knee into your chest and extend. Ha. Ah. Okay, let's switch. So now I'm extending my right foot behind me. I'm looking. Yep, my hips are parallel. One's not jacked up. Strong, stamping that wall behind me. I can actually move my, my leg up and down using my thigh muscles. And on an exhale, crunch in, bringing knee to nose. Ha. Huh. Extend out. Exhale, crunch in. Extend out. And crunch in. One more time. Extend out. Crunching. <sighs> Good job. You can take a comfortable seat. I've got to get a drink of water. Another great hip opener. We do, we tend to do pigeon a lot, but we also do figure four. And we can do a seated figure four. So I want you to bring your right ankle on top of your left knee. And it might look different than the way my, my leg looks. Um, flex your toes. So as, as often the case in hip openers, when you flex your toe, it brings a little more protection to your knee. My left knee is facing at 12 o'clock. My left toes are at 12 o'clock. And I'm going to put my hand on my right knee and I'm going to gently press it away, trying to get some, some depth and some stretch and opening in my hip and breathe. and switch. So now let's bring our left ankle on top of our right knee again. Everything is, we're looking at our alignment. My knee is over my ankle, my hip and my knee are in a straight line and that's in line with my toes down there that are facing 12 o'clock. I flex my left foot and I press away with my hands on my on my left knee to try to gently get some opening to that hip and breathe.
Good, come back. Knees, knees below your hands, hands on your knees. Stick your foot out in front of you and circle your ankle. Circle it the other way. And the other. Bring your knee out and circle your ankle. My foot's cracking like anything. <laughs> Toe cracks and whatnot. And the other way. And bring it down. Good. Close your eyes and breathe. Let's practice some square breath. Breathe in for three counts. Hold at the top and breathe out for three counts. Hold at the bottom and use ujjayi breath. So breathe in and out through your nose. Starting now, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, breathe in. Hold, breathe out. Hold, one more time, breathe in. Hold and breathe out. Good job. Think about the intention that you set for the day. And as we enter this holiday week, with the holiday being a different shape than it probably has been before, but as our guide in the meditation encouraged us earlier to be grateful, to be grateful for what we have, to be grateful for the people we love, for the things that bring us joy, and for the moment that we're in, not to rush ahead, but just to be alive in the moment. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring your hands to your heart in prayer. We'll end practice with the sound of one ohm. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in. Oh. We bring our thumb knuckles to our forehead. We raise our head and I say, the light in me, Kathy, honors the light in you. We bow and say namaste, namaste.